In 2013, the doubles tour has belonged to one team. The American Bryan brothers have dominated in what's been their greatest year so far. And they've kind of crushed every record that was out there. If you're not 100%, not, you have no chance. Under pressure, when they're in, ahead of um, in a set or in a match, they're great front runners, maybe the best. It's pretty phenomenal that they're still motivated to play so well at the highest level. In New York, Bob and Mike have a chance to become the first doubles team in the Open Era to win all four slams in the calendar year. We would have never dreamt we would have been playing our best tennis at 35. You know, 35 was the age a while back that people would uh, retire in doubles. It's something that you can't really even dream about. Uh, it just happens. Uh, you get hot, you win the Aussie Open, which is, you know, kind of our uh, most successful slam. We haven't won the French in 10 years. We did that and uh, snuck out Wimbledon, and now we're in the position to do something really cool, you know, to, to win four in a row. We're never going to have that opportunity again. You know, it's, it's too tough to do. It's too tough to dominate doubles. Um, but to do it at the US Open in front of our home fans would be, you know, the icing on the cake. I mean, it would be uh, tough to set new goals after we do that one. They've become the most successful doubles team of all time. So what makes the Bryans so unbeatable? They know what each other's going to do. They always move so fluidly together. and. You know, there's ne they're never out of position. They, they have unbelievable reflexes at the net. They, are, they, they know what to do at all times, and it, it makes it hard to play against them. They change it a lot, the, how they play since the first point until the end. So you have to be thinking about the, every point, every game. This is, make, for me, is a very important point, make it so strong. Their teamwork, obviously, is unparalleled. Uh, the chemistry that they have, I mean, they're twin brothers, so they, uh, they just know know each other inside out and uh, their communication is great uh, but they're special tennis players I mean let's face it I mean they have so many unique skills the, our loyalty to each other is the, is the reason we've been so consistent you know to, to know that he's not gonna go looking for some someone else if I have a bad stretch is is definitely comforting and it gives us confidence um, we're able to kind of as as brothers we're able to hash it out after a match and really say what we mean. Uh, um, use some bad language, do whatever, throw some punches, whatever we need to do, but we kind of clear the air um, and go back to work. You know, we're just getting better. You know, we're, we're putting uh, just as much practice time as uh, we were when we were 20. Um, we're just as eager, we're setting uh, new goals every year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we have an exclusive pass for the final dramatic week of the US Open. And they said he wouldn't win another. Pete Sampras relives his remarkable 2002 win in New York. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.